Hi everyone, my name is Kevin McDougall. I am one of the eighth grade American history teachers at Laramie Middle School for the 2020-2021 school year. I am super excited and thrilled to have your kid in my class this year. It's gonna be a fantastic year, regardless of the circumstances surrounding us. I cannot wait to get started um, and jump into the content and getting to know each of your kids um, a little bit better. It's gonna be an awesome year in American history. Um, just a couple things about uh, what to expect in my classroom this year um, as far as what kids need to bring. The, the main thing to remember is that these kids were distributed Chromebooks and those are going to be the main uh, mode of learning for this year. Uh, we're not going to be sharing textbooks or other hard copy materials. Um, so really the big thing to remember is that every single day that your student comes to Laramie Middle School, they need to have a charged Chromebook with them every, uh, for every class. Um, so if it's charged at the beginning of the day, it's more than likely gonna make it all the way to their eighth period class so that all teachers can have those students use those devices. And they'll definitely be using them in American history. Um, if they wanna have some loose leaf paper and pens and pencils on hand, that's not a bad idea. There might be a few things here and there that we do. They just won't be sharing um, those materials with others. The other thing to remember is that the students need to wear masks at all times um, throughout any part of the building, especially in the classroom. Uh, so I just urge students to wear those every day, uh, covering their face, um, and of course, making sure those are clean every single day they come in the room. Uh, so those are the main things that they need for our class. Um, and again, if you have questions, you can feel free to let me know. Uh, as far as curriculum goes this year, uh, we've sort of pared down our larger curriculum that we would have in a regular year and focused on those key essential learnings and standards um, that students will need as they enter the high school and beyond. So we really narrowed our focus down to major units of study. We're going to start the year off uh, first looking at kind of building community in our classroom, um, setting up a social contract of how we want each other to treat, uh, you know, student to student, teacher to student, student to teacher, et cetera. Um, so we're going to spend some time the first couple of weeks just building community, um, easing the stress levels of students, and getting students uh, to a sense of security and safety in the classroom. So that's where we're going to start. Um, as far as content goes, we'll then move to primary and secondary source uh, work. So students should be able to identify the different types of primary and secondary sources that we use in history, um, the basic differences between the two, and how we can use both to compare different uh, eras of history. Uh, so after we look at primary and secondary sources, we're going to do a kind of a broad overview of different types of units, looking at the meeting of different worlds, looking at European contact with Native Americans in North America. Uh, we're going to look at the revolutionary period uh, leading up to the creation of the American government. Then we'll look at the uh, build up to and the culminating event of the Civil War uh, towards the end of the school year. And throughout all that time, we're going to be building those analytical and critical thinking skills of students. So you can expect students to be doing some critical reading and some writing assignments. Um, you know, a, we're gonna call some of those writing assignments uh, short constructed responses or SCRs, which are about a paragraph in length, but they force students to look at uh, making thesis statements um, with supporting details and concluding statements. Uh, so those are gonna be pretty common throughout the year. Another thing to expect is we're gonna be doing some cross-curricular work. Uh, with English. So me and Mrs. Quinn, the two eighth grade American history teachers, are going to work directly with Mrs. Hammond and Mr. McIrvin in, uh, in English to create content that is, uh, is unique to each of our classes, but is going to have the same culminating assessment. So if we're doing a Civil War unit, for example, English might be teaching some, some skills and content that aligns with our content and skills. So that students are working ultimately to the same assessment for both classes. Uh, so the idea there, in a nutshell, is to make life easier for students so that it's, instead of two separate classes and two separate assessments, it's ultimately gonna be one thing in the end that they use uh, and give to us so that it hopefully makes life a little easier for them given these stressful times. So that's gonna be something to expect as well. Um, so I just want you all to know, um, one last thing before I send off, is that I am here for you and your child at any time. Uh, you can feel free to email or call me um, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can to answer any questions or concerns you might have. Um, I know it's a stressful year. I know there's a lot of uncertainty 
Um, so one thing I can give you is that consistency and that sense of security that I'm gonna be that stable force for you and your child here at the school. So again, if you have any problems, questions, concerns, um, feel free um, to reach out to me. And I look forward to reaching out and contacting you about your child's success uh, in my class. Again, I look forward to this year. I'm excited to have the kiddos back in the building and I'm honored to have your child in my classroom. Thank you guys. Have a good one.